Okay, so moving on to how things can go wrong with Python. So we're going to start out defining functions, but we're going to intentionally make a mistake here. Right, we got a def func arg, and we really should have a colon here, but we're going to leave it out intentionally to see what happens when we do. If we have this definition and we return arg plus 2, and we try to run this to define our function, we get what's called a traceback. So it points us to the line at which the error occurred and a pointer to where the error occurred and says this is the kind of error that occurred, a syntax error, invalid syntax. We're missing that colon. If we add that colon back in, we can successfully define our function. Now tracebacks are not just <coughs> for one level of function. As you can imagine, functions can call other functions, and so tracebacks show you the total history of all the functions you've called throughout your, your uh, call stack, I guess you could call it. So we're going to define func2, taking another arg, and returning, uh, we're going to call func, the original func, with the input, and multiply that by two for simplicity's sake. Okay, if we do that, we can have yet another level in our hierarchy. It says overall arg return func2 arg just to add another call to our call stack there. And so finally, let's call that and see what we end up with. So we took an initial input of three, we fed it into overall, we went to func2, into func2, fed in func3 to arg2, okay, so we go to arg, what is three plus two? It's five times two out to here, we return that, and that's what we end up with is 10. What happens if we feed in some data that might not work? You might remember that you can't add numbers to strings. So if we try to add in R there, we get our trace back. And you start out at the bottom with the most recent call at the bottom. So this is where the error often occurs. And then you look higher in the call stack for other stuff that might have led up to that. 